Hey guys, today I want to show you how I implemented a custom Stripe checkout in Next.js 13 using a custom hook in server actions. So in this little website I'm working on, you'll be able to check out on the website. So when I click on this uh, buy now button, it takes me to a custom checkout form that's still on the website. And I did this because there are certain things I want to show here on the left side that I can't do with Stripe. Like I want to show like what you're buying exactly, like each individual item and I want custom branding um, on this left side here. So how I did this was this right here is the checkout form. So this, this part right here is a checkout form. Um, and I created a custom hook uh, called use checkout. And this takes in a price and the store. So on the website, there's this concept of stores uh, and that just helps get like the tax in the name. So we have this form and we have this custom use checkout. And the price um, is a custom object I have in my database, which just stores the unit amount um, and like the currency and what product it's tied to. So if we go into this use checkout form hook down here, what this is doing is in order to generate the Stripe checkout form on your website, you need to create a payment intent. So basically what we do is we have this form we call a server action called create payment intent and i'll show that here so i have this server action called create payment intent this returns the payment intent uh, with some metadata and the price and the currency and the description and stuff like that so in this hook here it has a loading state that is set to false once it's done loading so now back in the form the checkout form we um, are going to show the loading state this checkout dot loading until that's generated so if i refresh we see this loading until we get the payment intent and once the payment intent uh, is back from the server we can generate these form elements using stripe elements so here this elements object takes in the payment intent client secret and we get this uh, elements object from the stripe js library so once we have that we can add in the payment element, which is basically this card number uh, info. So if I remove that, as you see, there'll be no payment element. So I'm gonna add it back and now we have the card info. So now um, that's how you would implement a custom checkout form. And of course I'll have to do more stuff like handling once a payment is complete or failed, but this is how you would embed the Stripe checkout form on your own website and as we see if we go to a real stripe checkout it looks pretty much similar so i've basically just been able to recreate it um but this to, uh but with some customizations so there's a little difference in experience for the user so people will still trust this checkout form but you're able to alter it um to your liking so i hope that's helpful uh in the meantime if you guys are looking for a next.js SaaS boilerplate visit my website sasplanet.org. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can join my Discord below and ask me any questions. See you guys later.